So we have the Deluxe Edition pre-order bonus. So if you pre-order it by July 22nd, Deluxe Edition, you will receive a free AKA player in Madden 23. Now I say free, but it's not free. You're, you're spending money to get the player, okay? At the end of the day. But you are getting your money's worth. And you gotta give EA props for that whenever they actually give you your money's worth. In the past for pre-order bonuses, it has been dog water. Where they say, oh yeah, spend an extra $30 pre-ordering this game. Or, yeah, actually $40 pre-ordering this game. And you get nothing except for dog crap that you're not going to want after a couple months. Now this Josh Allen card, obviously you get his base elite because he is a cover athlete. They do this every year with pre-order bonuses. But you get 4,600 Madden points, which is equates to around $40. So that's actually not that bad, especially because there's been a lot of people who day one in Madden 24 spend a crap ton of money on this game, let's be honest. So the fact that you're actually getting 4,600 Madden points straight off, the, uh, straight off right away, that's not bad. That's actually a big W. Again, you do get AKA player today if you pre-order by July 22nd. A choice of two strategy card items, one offense, one defense. NFL uh, Marby Bills gear, which I don't think anyone really cares about. Unless you're a Bills fan, you might care about that because, again, your quarterback is the cover athlete. Uh, dual entitlement and, of course, three-day early access. Keep in mind, also, Madden 24 is cross-play. So it's going to be cross-play with PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So if you, whatever system you play on... You're going to be playing against all of those guys. Overall, it's nothing too crazy pre-order bonus, right? It's just a pretty basic stuff. And this is what we expect. We're only in June. Usually how it works is this is the first pre-order bonus stuff. And then as time goes on, pre-order bonuses do go ahead and get better and better across the board. EA Sports will throw in an extra player or two. Hey, listen... Pre-order it now, and now you get this legendary player in Madden 24. Pre-order it now, and now you get this in Madden 24. They do this every year. Like, the first pre-order bonus is never, like, the pre-order bonus. It's literally, it adds on throughout the year. I would say this right now, okay? Do not pre-order this game. And I'm not saying that because I'm like, oh, yeah, Madden sucks, Madden's awful, Madden is garbage, don't do it. What I'm saying is, do not pre-order it right now. If you're going to pre-order it, wait. GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, you name it, every single store out there is going to have a pre-order bonus. Now, this pre-order bonus looks pretty dang good. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, if they didn't have the points, I would say this is a crap pre-order bonus. But those points are money. Literally, they are money. That, that's what they are. 4600 is a lot. And day one, that could get you, like, two elite player bundles, which is actually pretty dang good. Um, but I would wait in to see what EA Sports offers after July 22nd. Because what they might do, and this is what they've done in the past, is once this limited time offer expires, guess what? Now they're going to give you another limited time offer. And usually it's get pre-order this and get this 85 overall card in next year's Madden. So wait to see what next year's Madden, unless you're like really hurting right now for AKA players, which I'm pretty sure they're all dirt cheap anyway. And if you play Madden still, you probably have 160 million coins anyway. So the AKA player really just is pointless. But if you are going to pre-order this game, wait until you see the next pre-order bonus reveal, the actual limit time offer. Because, again, Walmart might have a really good offer, GameStop, all of them. So just keep that in mind. Do not go ahead and say, oh, I'm pre-ordering now. There's no point. Like, again, you get nothing for pre-ordering it right now. A absolutely nothing. So this is the Standard versus Deluxe Edition. The Standard Edition of this game just gives you no points. It gives you dual uh, entitlement, elite Josh Allen uniform and gear. And then obviously the Deluxe Edition gives you everything. So again, especially if you're ordering just the, you know, regular edition. No point to do that. Crossplay is confirmed across all systems, guys. So we are going to get crossplay. And this is, of course, what the uh, cover art looks like. It's just Josh Allen and then Josh Allen again. But the Deluxe Edition versus the Standard Edition. Looks like there's only two editions. Um, again, like I said... 
don't pre-order it right now. Do not pre-order it right now. I, I'm going to say that like a million times a video. So that when you leave this video, your brain tells you, do not pre-order this game. Um, yet. Again, yet. I, I would say don't pre-order it all together. But realistically, you're, you're probably going to if you are watching this video. So definitely do not do it yet. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.